How dare you to walk out on me? Are you stupid or something? What exactly do you want from us? Doesn't your son's happiness make sense to you? Does it not really matters you? Does it not make sense to you? I should be asking you this? Does his happiness means nothing to you? I mean look at yourself, you are an old woman. What are you talking about? You would be able to give him kids. Do you know what it means? You are going to make him a fatherless husband yet. You want to marry him? You want to trap him? What it is you want from my son? Stop mama. Why would you use every single moment to humiliate me? This time I will not condone it anymore. Oh you will. Because that's your intention. I mean look at you, you can't give him children, why do you want to marry him? Do you want him to become a fatherless husband? Look at yourself you are a barren woman, there is nothing in your womb and before you know, you will pass on and leave my son a widower. What's that? And why are you crying? Why don't you go and ask your mother? Joe, why would you barge into my room just like that? Do you have no respect? Mom, what is it? What have I done? Why would you bend on inflicting pains on the woman I love so much? Why are you so unreasonable and mean? I... Unreasonable? Come on! All I am trying to do is to release you from the bandage she put you into. What are you talking about? Mom, you see that woman. It's her I love, and it's her I am going to get married to, and do everything without your blessing. The earlier you to stop that, the earlier it's going to be better for you, for me, and all of us. Are you not hearing what I am saying? I said your brother almost beat me up yesterday. Don't say that. It's obvious. It's that woman who is causing that trouble, and I need to get her out of this house. You better come and advise your brother to throw her out. Well, I am Joy. You must be Joe's sister? Yes, of course, I am. I can see you must be very tired and hungry. Yes. Then follow me and let's go in. Look at you, you haven't been long here and you have already fallen in love with her. Mom, what did I do? I don't understand. If you ask me one more question, I will divide your face with dirty slaps. Are you stupid? No, I am not stupid. I don't understand, I want you to calm down and explain to me what is upsetting you. How will you ever understand? Did I not call you and complain to you? Your brother almost beat me up. I invited you here to fight her to get her out of this house, you rather came to fall in love with her. Are you mad? I am not mad mom. I think you are being extremely rude here, please take things easy. No, should I take it easy with you? Or with her? Are you stupid? Mom, have you forgotten how we have been praying and fasting to God for our brother to stop going around with girls and settling with women he loves? And now that God gives him a woman that even loves him more than he loves her. Have you heard Joe talking about Joy? She adores him and worships him. What it is that you want in your daughter's in law that Joy has not been bringing to the table? Are you stupid? Are you both stupid? Why are you both foolish? Can't you see? She sees my son to be so special and loving, and she has nothing to lose. That woman is 50 years old, can't you see? Mom, stop shouting, stop fighting her. You need to stop behaving like this and calm down. What we are planning right now is their wedding. What? Their wedding? Yes, you need to stop shouting and stop fighting her, and focus on the wedding. We will be doing this wedding now. Joe will be realizing he is about to end up with one woman now. If not, he will go back to the street. And you've lost your son. Shut up. What marriage? That old woman, that sugar mommy cannot marry my baby boy. My only son, 
my only begotten son. What marriage? Now listen, that woman will never marry my son. She is 50 years old, a sugar mommy. I have told you to stop crying. You need to stop this. Do not allow what my mother is doing to you gets to hurt you. She will definitely come around. How? How will she come around when she doesn't like me? Why can't your mother like me? Come on, it will be fine. I am coming. I think no one is in. Don't worry, the door will be opened now. Mom, who is this? Not too fast, old woman. She is going to stay with us, and very soon you will get to know her well. Now listen. Your relationship between you and my son, I know you have come from long way. But I think I have a solution to it. What solution is it? You see this beautiful woman. She is very respectful, obedient, reliable, good cook and good in everything. Mom, please I do not need a house help. Are you saying house help? So after looking at this young girl you her a house help? No, she is not. She is the solution to the problem. How is she the solution to the problem you feel we are having? She is Joe's wife. She has brought in your new wife. What? My mother brought new wife for me? Mom, I will accept anything else from you, anything, but over my dead body will I watch you to walk into my house with some secondary strange girl and you force her on me. Calm down. Relax. See my son, you can continue doing what you are doing with your sugar mommy. This girl you see in this house, is going to serve you well. She is going to give you children. And if I refuse? You can't refuse her. She looks beautiful and sweet. Mom, I can't. Then I will kill myself right before you, in your house. Why are you so happy? What is actually going on? Mom, Joe is finally married to Joy. They had their own marriage at the court. No, no, no. I can see you have decided to close me up out of your life and your family. Mom, I don't want any problem today. All I ever wanted for you is bright future and success. But since you have chosen me out of your plans, be ready to bury my corpse. What do you want from me? I will kill myself and, remember my blood will be on your head. You know. It has been six months you both performed that nonsense you called marriage. All I see you doing is clean dining tables, washing the kitchen. Mom, I... Shut up, you don't talk while I am talking. You should let me finish. Like I said, I have been waiting for you to prove me wrong, when I said you've gone past menopause. You've not said anything, it's obvious that your womb is empty. Mom, you haven't told me what I have done this time. Oh no. You want me to spell it out? It's six months. When are you going to give me a child? When are we going to hear babies crying in this house? At the right time, Mom. My husband and I are not ready for children now. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. When will you be ready? Or know when you've got 55? Or when you have gone past your menopause, you are heading to your grave. Or you want to be the Sarah in the Bible? <laughs> you have not seen anything yet. This is even small of it. 